Hello lads and gentricles, welcome back. Um, I really don't remember what I did in the first episode, to be totally honest. Uh, it was a few weeks ago. But, this guy needs an assistant. Sure, oh yeah, 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 I probably do no need to do that. There's like three main quests in this game. One of them being the gym leader thing that we did last time. This really isn't a main quest, this is a side quest. This is for the sake of... I'm Professor Percival Hoylake. I hope that's how you say that. Intrepid investigator into the unknown. Yes! Indeed, as we have found ourselves marooned on this curious realm, it falls upon us upon a steadfast and rational mind to make sense of the chaos that surrounds us. I'm take, talking of the scientific method. We must observe, analyze, and form conclusions. Humble townsfolk describe many strange beasts on this island. If we were to catalog them, this is for the sake of a Pokedex, then the unknown would cease to be unknown. Say, you look like you appreciate the importance. Would you do it? Sure. Excellent. The first account is I have a faint creature perched on a skull parked in the park. Here's some blank tapes to us help you research. So I gotta <laughs> capture some folk. Have I already seen it? Not yet. Okay. I gotta capture some folk and make sure I tell him about it. He gives you stuff. I heard a rumor that the ground in a new world sometimes trembles. Ah, like what happened with the train station at one time. Anyway, as you can tell, we kind of need to fill out the the map a little hey. bit. Yeah, let's pump uh -huh. iron. Um, Bye. I can't do that yet. But I can talk to you. You only have limited quantities of items, blah, blah, blah. What have you got? So... The currency here is fusion material, which you get from fighting. Uh, so I can fuse with Kaylee, whoever my partner is. Uh, but you can also run into wild fusions, and when you beat them, they'll drop this fusion stuff. Anyway, this is good stuff because like, you can increase your inventory and stuff. And here's the gym pass the guy was talking about. Allowing the one additional sticker, lame. I don't remember most of this being useful because I don't think I ever bought coffees. Maybe it'd be good to have more than one revive, respools, bombs, smoke bombs to get you away from enemies. Hmm. Nothing too crazy here. Ta ta. Ta ta for now. Anyway, moving on, let's fill out the map a little bit. I am over on this side of the map. I just walked nothing special and now if I walk through squares I can start filling out the map and if I drown I'll just pop back here so I just want to reveal more hey what is that water filled tape cool catch water types you know I should probably catch a little traffic crab so I think I will do that and there we go oh also, I learned a new trick. Uh, doesn't matter now, but now if I wanted to show battle footage and you want to see my health, I can do that. Now I'm down here. But I can do that too. I'll be right back. So that's fun. Who knew OBS was so intuitive? And there goes that trap. Crab. Cool, and I got one. Now I have a full party. I actually forgot I got most of this last time. Like the Terracuca. You know what? I should really nickname in this playthrough. Because they're fun. Um, God, I gotta come up with some good ones. And these are the nicknames I could come up with. Except this one. I just think Bansheep is such a great name for this. Bansheep. Bansheep. Beautiful. Perfect. We got the Vocaloid here. Serenade. Serenade. Can we just scroll through these? No. Okay. So there's my Vocaloid here. We got Lamp Muncher. We got Charles Lindbergh here. I just felt like naming him after the Spirit of St. Louis. It's pilot. Anyway, Terracuca Pie, like I named in the last video when I caught it. And Shtibby, 
our brand new traffic craft. So anyway, it's time to run around here and profit. What is up here? Now that I can glide, eh, I can do that. A whole different area over here. So this building on my left, yeah, hey, there's Eugene, actually. That explains it perfectly. Eugene is the one we met in the last video. That sounded like this, probably. And, uh, made our lives interesting. He has a, a quest to fight vampires, supposedly. Do, do, do. I don't know what I can... Oh, I can do this. No! I'm holding a rock! No! Oh, well. Let's do some battling. Oh! A dandelion. I'm assuming it's a grass type. I want to do that thing again where I absolutely uh, murder the user on the first turn. Not the first turn, but you know what I mean. They, they're not allowed to switch. So air type attacks uproot grass types. Yes, disconnecting them from their source of nutrients in the ground. So the AP that we generate per turn. Oh, I need to do that, don't I? The AP that we generate per turn, the little orange bar, uh, it's two per turn, I think we learned. And now that he's uprooted, he has AP drain. We'll make it one per turn. For the standing line, anyway. So you know some smackaroons and some split. So we do a little, little bit of damage. A little bit more damage. Ow. And now this turn. See, bite. I think bite is a great move. In like regular Pokemon, it's okay. And this, look at this. And I steal a little HP after I bite them. So how about Sonic Boom? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get him. Oh, he only had one anyway. Never mind. Not that big a deal. Man, they are leveling up fast. I don't remember it taking this short. I'm already level 12, which makes everything in my party level 12. Oh, what did he say? <laughs> this legend has eyes so it's found of youth. Do you think it's in Comic Sans? The font of youth. I can't read. Ha ha ha. Um, but I did throw a rock at his head. Maybe that had something to do with it. And Kaylee's head. Now, if I could only get up there, I could get into that chest. But I think I'm lacking some HMs or abilities. Let's fight this guy. Hey. Hey. Historian. With a hop skin. That is a bat and a trench coat if I ever saw one. Let's do the same idea. Um, by the way, provoke is like taunt. Um, it prevents them from using status moves. Let's call an ally. I just want to. Oh, jump scare. That move is incredible. And there is a my favorite, maybe my favorite, Cassette Beast learns that move, and we'll find him later. And uh, it's honestly busted how many bosses I breeze through. You know, let's go with How many bosses I breeze through just on the merit of using jump scare and then flinching all the time. And Schmackadoodle. So hot potato. Oh, this one's green. Like, oh, I gotta do this, don't I? This one's green. Um, which means it has an extra rare effect. Ooh, he's two percent of max HP. That's kind of cool. Very cool. I want to burn it though. Ow. Smack. This, this whole video is going to be a constant struggle trying to remember to put my camera back to normal. Oh, he has an another Pokemon. A pal, a Palangolin. And it looks like it is a metal type. That's interesting. Ow. Oh no. Smash, sharp points of metal type attacks. Maybe you can't read that. Metal type attacks penetrates an earth type attack like a shovel, lowering his overall defense. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Oh well. We're doing pretty great, if I say so myself. Bonk! And you're burned. Get ratioed. 
and we'll finish her off with, uh, I don't know. Oh. Hot Potato is like, a give them an item, and it'll explode in a few turns. I suppose. Very good. We did it. Together. Osima. Hooray! Actually, I'm okay. My favorite 20th century event was a human elf peace deal brokered in the United Nations in 1948. Without that, things would have gone differently. You're from a strange timeline. Indeed. Oh, okay. So this is one of the fusion things that I was talking about. Now, I could die horribly, but I do want to show it off. hey Monster rogue fusions. Sometimes they hide inside caves and stuff. They're always difficult. Yes. A rogue fusion. Sometimes they can be a swarm. Interesting. A squire cuckoo. Very weird. Um, I don't know if I'm apt to beat this thing. We can sure try. So I fused together and another little piece of it, um, this game I want to show off. There was that song in the last episode that was such a banger. This is the battle song. After this I might turn off the lyrics because I don't know what it does for me and YouTube's sake. Ow! Uh, and you might get tired of the lyrics. I don't, but you might. Ouch. Bonk! Look at all that health I get back. Well, okay, it was a little. I wanna sharpen. Ouch. No, don't hurt me. Um, I wanna go first. Can I dodge? No! You break my fusion, that's bad. Ouch. Now we have to switch. This is not going well. So, the crab here, the traffic crab, is a plastic type, and it just got hit with a ground type move. Just as the life cycle of plastic products is often unfortunate, unfortunately to be buried in a landfill, earth type attacks bury plastic types, thus limit their movement. Not fun. Not fun at all. I lost speed for that. Also, this is my last cassette piece, so you're about to see what it looks like when you lose! Hooray! Um, you can see what traffic jam does. Or you won't. You won't. Alright, so this is what happens Sorry. when you lose. Yeah, it's okay, Kaylee. Don't worry. I lost some stuff. Oh well. I go to the hospital. <sighs> Are you okay? You have me worried. Oh, you're awake. Luckily, you had a friend to get you back to my clinic. Why don't you take these with you? Gave me some revives. Oh. Or, uh, they might be HP things. Like, they just fully heal your cassette. If you two are traveling across New Oral, you best be wise to stock up on healing supplies before you go. I'll trade you restoratives for any resources you have on hand. And so, with Clement, so will Clement at the Gramophone Cafe. The... I don't know if I showed her off in the first video. That was a big pencil. Anyway, um, in that cafe that we started the video in, ouch, who, who, who are you? Got a rumor for me. I heard Captain Wallace is in the park right now. Uh oh. Not again. Well, I had to restart the game because it crashed. Anyway, go back up stairs. Did I get to keep the uh, the hint that the guy gave me? Quest log. There's the captain. Rumor has it. Nope. Hmm. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know. He said he was in the park somewhere. You can. Oh, I've gone to the cave. Find some information. If I'm not back soon, send help. So these guys, they sell stickers. Remember how I said you could put any sticker, well not any sticker, but other stickers on other thing mobs. So I have plastic and I can buy these. This is a glass type move, I think. It's one target. Strange, very strange. And they change stickers about every day. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. Crossfade switches the user's form but applies a coating that keeps it the same type. Weird. 
Lowers the target's range defense. Not that great. Interesting. Inter anyway, uh, what was I going in here for? Oh, the cafe. This isn't the cafe. I was gonna show off the French girl. I don't know if I did that in the first video. Because my apartment's upstairs, I believe. Bonjour. Bonjour. It's not too often we get a new face in here, especially not one as handsome as your own. I am Clemence. I kind of wish we could romance her. I'm Clemence, and this is a fine establishment. It's the Gramophone Cafe. What can I say? I own many records. I brew the best coffee. Not that there isn't any competition. Please feel free to ask me any questions. I am in no rush. She sells stuff by the seashore. Uh, coffee is... Oh, that's what it does. It gives you more AP. I guess that's kind of cool, but what do I care? And this is just like Pokeballs... Poke dolls, um, smoke balls again. Or I guess it keeps monsters away from you to repel. Au revoir. Anyway, back to the map! I wandered too close to this building and it made me look at Eugene. Can I not go in without him? I guess not. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Anyway, we're back on this side of the map. So let's jump. And scream and shout and let it all out. Ha! Oh, I got up there. I feel like I wasn't supposed to be able to do that, but I sure did. <gasps> I love this thing. Right. No! No! <laughs> Don't stop me now, Dick. Um, I'm actually really bad about that because I really want that cassette beast. It's one of my favorites. In fact, it's probably tied with my favorite. I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll let it be a surprise anyway. To you, me, and a dog named Blue. Me and you and a dog named Blue. Anyway. Ouch. Okay. Neat. Moving on. <gasps> Yay, it's still there. Give me! That, it's called a Never Morph. Never Morphed. Which is a hilarious, uh, kind of a play on my favorite author, Edgar Allan Poe, and his poem, The Raven, where the raven could do nothing but say nevermore, and of course mort being the Latin prefix for death. Uh, prefix. Anyway, I really want one, so I will get back to it when we have one. Alright, here we go. We're gonna record. Recording. Let's fucking go. Pulsal bomb. You can see it is a poison type. Oh, it hovers over it and tells you good. Bonk! Alright. 100%. There we go. Love to see it. Woo! I love this thing. I love it so much. It is extremely fast and it has a lot of HP. Otherwise, its stats are kind of ra round. And I want to call it Edgar. Edgar? I actually don't know. Let me check. It is, in fact, Edgar. So, we're going to move on with that. I love it. Actually, can I get some stickers? Uh, I'll do that in a second, I guess. When your party is full, tapes your recorder are put in special storage compartment in your backpack. These tapes can be accessed and moved from your party when you set at a campfire at the cafe. Edgar was put in storage. Woo! Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, I want to find a campfire because I want my bird quickly. Okay, I'm at the campfire. Tape storage. I guess I gotta put somebody in storage first. Not so worried about the dog at the moment. Kind of like the traffic crab. I want Edgar at the party. And now, let's check what kind of stickers we can give him. Uh, check tape. Empty slot. A fly sticker. Cool, what do we got? Um, these are kind of silly, but I might as well apply that. So, let's go back to this. 
He knows spit. Everybody knows this zero AP, either physical or ranged move spit or slap or whatever it was. My band sheep knows. And then he knows call for help, just like, just like my Serenade, or Sirenade. And then I just taught it dodge. It's cool. If it's a neutral little type, it'll become whatever type this thing is. That's why these are poison. Um, so I guess we'll have to unlock other moves. But yeah, that's my bird. Rest. Is she gonna say anything interesting? Kaylee tells you a funny anecdote about her life. That's fun. Moving on. To bigger and better things. So I'm all the way over here on this map. Um, hopefully this area isn't too high leveled. In fact, I would like to switch you. I love running around with my Nevermort and Bansheep. It's a good time. Eh, I didn't have to glide. Oh, that's a UFO. Um, what do we do about that? All Seer, it's a metal type. Interesting. Let's see if we can catch it. Okay, so a lot just happened. Um, Nevermort over here uh, just used Call for Help, and he summoned this rabbit with wings and antlers things. I don't re even remember what it's called. Um, but I guess it used an electric type move. And it used it on the All Seer, which is a metal type. And anyway, it got electrified. Metal conducts electricity, leaving it weak to future lightning attacks. Conductive characters take damage whenever lightning attack is used. So basically, now they take extra damage when they get hit by a lightning move. Like that. Kind of weird. That's how long it's going to be conductive. Yeah, cool. I'm glad it just tells you all this. I never even knew you could cover over it. And my band she's putting in the work. Shooting star. Ouch. So, it just used an astral type move. You, you've now probably seen all ten types other than uh, glitter, but we'll get into that. Anyway, um, astral type attacks dream power from targets of the four elements, fire, earth, air, or water. So this thing is either, I think, an air type, probably. I hope so. It's got wings. Um... So, astral types, or astral type attacks, I guess, do the draining thing that we saw earlier. Anyway, um, let me sharpen and dodge. I just knew you'd do that. Fuck! I knew it. I just knew you'd do that. Well, no UFOs today. Edgar sure went up. A nerd pulsal bomb. Hits a whole team. Power 60. Very good. I'm not sure if all poison attacks have a chance to poison, but... Oh. It's a thing. No money, no problem. We're offering financing at a mere 10% per annum. What are you talking about? Oh, this is also one of my favorites. This is also another one of my friend's favorites. Pawn Dead. Look at it! It's spooky! It's very cool. I wish I could have one. Let's just beat it up and get out of here. Raise that evasion. Now both of my uh, little cassette beasts have high evasion because this thing, remember, its passive is evasion increases inversely with its HP. So the more damage it takes, the more it's going to evade. So if I was on low health, we'd both be just dodging everything left and right. It'd be fun. Spit. Oh, so I just used the poison type attack on a ground type, because this is ground, earth, earth type. The poison left over from poison type attacks, I'm still at two, right? I hope so. The poison left over from two type, from poison attacks, can be used by earth types to coat sharp points, allowing them to deliver extra damage to opponents. That one doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I'm going to suffer for it right there, ow. Now it is a snoopin'. This, I'm not sure if this one's related to that hop skin, the, the bat in a trench coat. We're gonna use Pulsal Bomb. Hustle. Oh my gosh, that's the first time I've read that correctly. Hustle. I 
can't believe I've never said that right. I thought it was Pulsal, and I don't know why. That makes no sense. It's not a word. Anyway. Spit. Let's just get out of here. Bonk. Yeehaw! This thing is so fast. It's just so useful. The Nevermore. Edgar over here. Oh, okay. So notice... First of all, I just learned to move. Reduces the accuracy of moves that can be evaded that the target user is 0% for the next round. I guess that makes it... I'm not sure what that does. That's hard to... I, if I thought about it long enough, I could. But anyway, what I want to focus on is that my Banshee just got the 5 stars, which something special happens. Go away. Go away! No! Oh, I'm very confused right now. Okay. We'll be right back. Carl and his dandelion. Actually. Um, actually, we are up here. Plant type attacks absorb poison left over from poison attacks, and they take damage from this over time. So any poison type attack will poison uh, grass type. And that's the fun of it. Now this guy's got something called an elfless. This is an ice type. I don't understand how. It kind of looks woodsy, you know. Uh, but we're gonna beat the shit out of it anyway. Hustle bomb. Hustle. Hustle bomb. And almost got him. Ouch. By the way, the dandelion used some leech seed kind of move, so I'm leeched, and so my health will drain like poison, but it'll of course heal my opponent. Bit. Got him. Anyway. Moving up in the world. Oh, and the moth has five stars. So let's see what happens with those. I was mistaken. You fight for the people, not against them. You're correct, a-hole. So let me go find a campfire while I fill out this map. You think there would be one around here somewhere? There's the... Spaceship again. We'll try to catch one of those later, but I am on a mission or a campfire. In fact, why I'm not even gonna mess around. Let's just Go here Yes, you can always teleport back to the gramophone cafe And if I rest here with my best friend Kaylee I Can rest. Hey, hey, I forgot to ask are you feeling about talking on how are you feeling about taking on the ranger training? I'm excited. Of course you are. The Rangers tailor their challenges to the strength of each trainee. My training involved doing community work around town for each ranger captain. Your combat challenge seems a little more intense than mine. Yeah, you just did community service? That sucks. Aha, remastering. Certain tapes can be remastered when they reach five stars. I should be up here, hopefully. Remastering a tape in evolves it into a more powerful form, its stats will grow and learn new moves. Some monsters can be obtained, only obtained through remastering. In some cases, the remastered tapes can be different depending on the various conditions. Yes. So some tapes just straight up evolve like that into a talk sack. That's cool. I don't think I ever actually got one of these in my original playthrough. I did not complete the Pokedex yet, so maybe that'll be some post-game stuff. But anyway, some, if you hit remaster, yes, it'll let you choose a path. So a spirit cannot remain in limbo forever. Do I want to ascend to the afterlife or return to the earth? In my playthrough, I ascended to the afterlife and it became this astral type ram thing. And it was really cool. So I actually want to try out Return to the Earth. A Zombleet. Isn't that cool? Which is a ground type. That should be really interesting. Because my astral type kept getting like AP drained by everything and its mom. Um, so I thought y'all would find that interesting. Does... Is that all the, the insect evolves into? I'm not sure. Oh look, uh, the captain. Heard Captain Zed was heading out to see what's up with the morning town in the east, but he fell asleep on the way. So there's a crazy captain over yonder. Ooh, I got an electric type. 
catching tape. So maybe I would like to try a different cassette B soon instead of the Ma. I want to keep my starter because it will remaster one more time. We can have some good fun with that. So I found a flying saucer and uh, I also found this awesome Pokemon called the Macabre. And I really want one, so let's see if we can do it. Okay, well, the, the Macabre killed itself, unfortunately. But I would still like to get this one. I record it with a basic tape. Here we go. I didn't use one of these that much in the last, in my first playthrough. So I'd kind of like to use one now, because they're cool. They're like a little Egyptian spaceship. They, I think they can evolve into one of a few things. Whoa. Ow. Ow. 50-50. Yay, I got it. Got it. Got it. That was close. Cool. An all-seer. Very cool. What should I name it? Um, I just played Assassin's Creed Origins. I finally finished it. So I'm going to name it by it. Very fun. I should have named it Animus. Oh, that would have been good. Oh well. Blyak is also good. It works for me. Uh, I kind of want to pull that out now. And I believe there is a campfire down here. Ow. What did I just hit? It's like a board in the water. Yeah, there's a campfire right here. Hopefully. Okay, good. I was say that guy didn't need to fight me. Didn't want to fight me. So let's switch. First, we gotta deposit the moth and Stebby. Why did I put both in there? I thought I caught both, but I didn't. I caught Bayek at the party. We'll keep Stebby. Stebby's fun. Oh, I should have maybe healed. Anyway, moving on. For the record, that thing earlier apparently is called a Thwackalope. Now you know that. And I do too. The thing with the rangers is that each one has a special role they play in maintaining the town. Lodestein, Lodestein keeps the electrical grid running. Wallace maintains the buildings and walls. Zed does something. But it also reflects how they battle. Each of them has a unique tactic they'll use. I'm sure you'll be able to beat them. Those must be the rangers. Some of the rangers. Your broken tapes have been repaired, etc. Now it's raining. Um, does it tell me how many rangers there are? Maybe? Save? No. Quest, maybe? Well, I guess not. But, anyway, I digress. Adventure! I'm running around new unknown places. And pressing buttons, seeing what they do. So if I go off that button, I see. We'll figure that out at another time. We'll run around some more. Apparently Kaylee has something to say. I just fought a cultist. That person seemed pretty weird. Uh... Yeah, they were weird. Let's talk about it another time, okay? Okay. Apparently Kaylee's got some secrets to hide from me. That's no way to have a, a nice loving open communication relationship Kaylee we're gonna have to work on that boy howdy is this a sight to see this guy and his two nevermorts and what it evolves into apocalypse which is a great name by the way uh, and then I use call for help with my nevermort so it's just a battle of the birds and I'm okay with it apparently I have a question I have a question for you, Azo. It's a big one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you a dog person or a cat person? It is a dog person. <laughs> if I go back to my world, I think I want to adopt a dog. I do a lot of walking these days, so a dog would fit in nicely, don't you think? I agree. I am very much a dog person and not a cat person at all. Okay. I've been running around. I'm actually really not far from that campfire that I was just at. But over here... See these things running around? That is a Bulletino. 
It is literally just a bullet with legs. And we're going to catch one because I think they're neat. Also, they're fire types. Yes. Uh, dodge. So let's get that going. Now, um, something you'll notice. When poison is used on fire, it'll be fuel. fuel. Fire types attacks can burn excessive poison left over from poison type attacks as fuel, empowering them. So they get extra AP per turn when I fueled them with poison type moves, which is scary. And when they die, that's their little passive ability. They blow up. So be very, very careful. So I'm going to sharpen and we call for help. Ow, 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 ow. You missed. Aha. Uh -huh. Loser. So this turn, I'm going to bite it, record it, and hopefully things will go my way. 39% chance. Okay. 30% 30, 30 chance. Chomp. Did a lot of damage. What will that do for me? 89. It's a big chance. Oh, I got it, I guess. Got it. Bulletino has only one defensive mechanism, that is to launch itself headfirst into danger when panic. This is a bad idea, but Bulletino will do it anyway. What a crazy... Look how fast they are. So they're, they're fast and they attack. Let's name you... Uh, Sex pistol. Or number three. Yeah. Number three! Perfect. Bulletino dash. Now you can press shift to perform a short dash. This consumes your stamina. Cool. Yes, there was some method to that madness. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Poison types. Interesting. Poison found in New World tends to be flammable. It can be ignited with fire type attack. So I get burned by fire moves. Woo! Bone cannon. That's new. So a multi-hitting move. That's great. Uh, because if somebody uses, um, like one of those walls, I could just blast through it. We learned Tonic Boom. Oh, you did! See? This thing is just as cool as Sirenade because it learns all the same moves. Even though Siren Age just learned Taunt. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? It's gonna be awesome. Whoa! It got Uncommon Shooting Star, which is an astral move. 43% critical damage, 5% damage per empty slot. So, this introduces another mechanic. You know all the sticker slots? If you have missing sticker slots, moves like this will be powered up. And I think that's pretty, pretty cool. But you know what we're gonna do? We're going to uh, take so check tape. We're actually going to peel this sticker, and we're going to check tape. We're going to where is it? I thought you learned taunt. Maybe you didn't, cause your thing's full. Which means that I can add it right to this one, right? Taunt, yeah. Cool. So taunt does exactly what it does in Pokemon. It taunts. I wanted that more than dodge because I'll use this more often than than dodge. Because there are some cassette beasts in this game that do a lot of not fun stuff. A lot. Of oh, you see how fast that was? Now I have the speed of a bullet, which is really fun. You know what I can do with that? Lots of fun things. So anyway, by cool stuff, I mean you see this rock right here. Bah! Oh gosh. So you can do fun stuff like that. Um. Ow. Just smacked himself into a wall. I just broke through that wall. See these currents of air? Nothing to me. Oh god. I can go right through them. Ah! Ow. Hopefully I'll uh, get him a cop here. 100%. Yes, sir! I like these things. They look cool. They're like a little grouchy guy sitting on a on a skull. What do I call you? I'm gonna call you the beast. That'd be fun. The beast!
beast. I want to go get the beast. I also have lost a few good men along the way, as you can see. And I would like... Uh-oh. Quest updated. Oh, okay. That was the cassette beast the scientist wanted to know about. That's good. Oh, good. There's a campfire here. And an altar. That's a little scary. You don't like just random altars in the woods. Who would? It appears I have found a cave with some stuff I can do in it. Ugh. So many bulletinos. I hope I hit none of them. Okay, that one just flew off into nothing. Uh, that was a little sad to watch. Whee! He's dead now. Oh, and I'm dead too. I wish they'd get out of my way. I gotta loop them. Ugh. That was fun. Ugh. What did I get? Gear shift. Hits one target multiple times to reduce priority compared with other moves. Interesting. Can I put that on anybody? Inventory. Stickers. Apply to. Put it on you. It's a little better than raised shields at the moment. Yes. Very cool. My flying saucer's turning out to. Ooh, I thought I died. Oh, okay. I can't believe that worked. Moving on. I'm really looking for the whatever leader around here. You know what I'm talking about? The, the ranger. Yeah. No, people. Here we go. And you'll probably think worse of me when I'm finished. Sorry. You see, when I first came to New World, I didn't live in Harbor Town. There's a number, another settlement at the top of the Autumn Hill on the East Coast. Morning Town. It's a community of people living off the land, sharing possessions, all that cute stuff. You've seen the folks walking around in rotted hoods, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that we fought and you felt so awkward about. That's them, and I guess I was one of them once. Things didn't used to be that weird there, but the leader, Dorian, he's obsessed with archangels. <sighs> Morningtown was founded with the intent of helping everyone, but it soon just became about what he wanted. Aw, my little communist Irish chick. It reached a point where I didn't feel at home anymore. It was too late for me to be able to fix anything, so I ran. That's how I ended up in Harbor Town a year ago. I want so desperately to do the right by everyone because I have let so many down in the past, but if Dorian knows about the location of the Archangels, I need to put my fears aside and find out what he knows. They they don't let outsiders into the commune, but they should still remember me. I think I'll be able to get us inside. Are we in this together? Of course! That's the spirit! I hope some good could come out of all of this. Okay, right! I'll mark the entrance of the commune on your map. We actually already found it. It's right there. Cool. Moving on. I really want to find a ranger and then maybe wrap up this video. No way! Oh no my gosh, we have to get up there. You see that sparkling thing up there? That's essentially this game's version of a shiny. And I have to figure out how to get up there right now. How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I get up there? Like this? We have to get it, we have to get it, we have to get it, we have to get it. Yes! 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 Mana Spear. Interesting. You don't seem like a shiny. If, okay, so if they're glitching out like that in the overworld, um, and their name's written in red, it is this game's version of a shiny. And we have... A limited opportunity to do this. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, if you don't know, Shinies and Pokemon are just different colored Pokemon and they're extremely rare. In this game, however, they're way more practical and useful and a little bit more common to get. I don't remember the exact odds, but it's way less than a Pokemon game. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I'm freaking out right now. I really want to catch this. This is so cool to get a bootleg. That's what they're called. They're called bootlegs. And we'll learn more about it once we get one. 
Oh. <laughs> I really want this bad, and if I lose it, I'll cry. I promise. Okay, not dead. And now we will... Sonic Boom and record with a basic tape. And hopefully this will work. It's going to be really... Oh, 12%. Eight. Please work. Fuck. All right. We do it again. We do our best. Please work. Thirteen percent. Okay. 14, 15%? 19%? Fuck! Uh. <laughs> oh no. Sonic Boom. I'm gonna burn all of my... No, don't recycle. Why would you even be able to do that during a battle? That I don't understand. Dodge, okay. Still took burn damage. 15. Come on. 20. Sorry. Come on, Kaylee, you're letting me down! No! This is bad. This is real bad. Do I have any heavy hitters? No, I don't think I do. I don't wanna lose your love tonight. Ow. This is way too close. This is my last one, really. I mean, I guess I could use the aerosol tape, but it, it would suck. Recording. Come on! We can do it! Don't hit Kaylee. Okay. Bonk. Crit. 20. Come on! Yes! Got it. We did it! I got a bootleg! You notice how the cassette's red? Oh, thank god. On the last one, too. So the squirrel thing evolves into this. Cool. Mana Spear. It is a metal bootleg. I think it's already metal type. Right? We're, we're about to find out. So somebody in the village will actually tell us more. I do kind of miss the cafes where they'd write your name on a cup. Though in my experience, the chances of spelling it correct are very low. Yeah, because you spelled Kaylee the worst possible way. I'd mostly end up with some variation of K and Lee. Once I got Carol, that was way off the mark. That said, Clemence makes a far better cup of coffee than any chain store. I'm not sure I'll be able to go easily back to regular coffee if I ever get to go back home. Understandable. I don't even like coffee. I don't think it tastes good. I think it's kind of lame. I much prefer Mountain Dew. Uh, what's your rumor, good sir? I heard there's a metal woman in the East Ham Woods. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know what that quest is about. But it's a good thing we're checking out. Hey, you. What's your room? Aww. I've been told a monster wearing diving gear grants you the ability to swim. Interesting. I would like to swim. So, I want to find the guy that tells me about bootlegs. And I believe they are up there somewhere. Somewhere over yonder. Maybe right here. Let's find out. You. Hmm. It's no time to chat. Okay. Hmm. Cool townsfolk. Okay. Okay, I broke the... I can do that. Get wood. But I did break... You see... Oh, 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 oh no. I pushed it into the... To the stratosphere. That's not good. Uh, maybe it's this house. 
I hope it's on this side. You're a fortune teller. I don't care about that. Any of you want to tell me about voot legs? You? That's enough food to go around. Haven't had duck roll in forever. Lame. Anybody can tell me about voot legs? You sell clothes. Hello! Hello! That's cute. Uh, well, I guess the person I'm looking for might be on the left side of the village, in which case, we're kind of SOL for now. Anyway, bootlegs are like shinies, except, number one, like I said, they're more common. But you? Number two, it's been 20 years. Interesting. Number two, you can get a bootleg of any cassette beast, of any type. Which is the coolest part, by far. So, I can have a fire type, um, thanks for the book. I can have a fire type hey. mana spear, I could have had a, an astral type mana spear that I just got. Um, it could have been one of all, I think, ten types, but I got a metal one. Which, I'm trying to decide is lame or not, because I think mana spear is already a metal type. <laughs> But still, I got a, I got a thingy. Where's Mana Spear? I got a, a thing with Bobby. Yeah, Mana Spear is already a metal type, <laughs> so I got a pretty lame shiny actually. It could have been anything else, but it's a, a bootleg metal type, and that's kind of sad. Uh, anyway, on that funny note, I think we will. Oh, cool! I changed my clothes. I think we'll wrap this up. I brought Kaylee back home to my house, and we're gonna we're gonna chill for a while. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video.